Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for 11 months, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. As you already know, after the introduction of uh, Warpets in the Call of Dragons, a lot have been changed, right? A um, lot of updates, a lot of patches, a lot of system changes. That's why I decided to take updated guide about every single Warpet. Uh, we almost are in the finish line. Uh, the last Warpet guide was about Venomous uh, Lizard, which has uh, two um, guides. One is like Secret Guide and one is like one most popular. Uh, today we are going to speak an about another Lizard, which is Ice Lizard. Uh, it's pretty straightforward for Warpet, but uh, still we have to speak about about uh, the lizard so let's dive in uh, as always i'm going to speak about attributes um, main attributes for ice lizard is pretty simple intelligence spirit lack and agility in general a lizards has a four main attributes that's why it's more beneficiary for you to try to get legendary warped uh, after those updates, it got pretty easier to get uh, legendary warped because uh, level uh, of the beasts which you can catch on the field is rising. Like you can now catch 44 level warpets and uh, honestly, uh, try to get uh, maximum amount of level on your warped whenever you are catching it because you will have higher chance to get a legendary warped. And like difference between the uh, legendary elite and epic uh, warped attributes are pretty huge. Uh, for example, uh, for elite rarity warped, the best attribute is a B tier. For epic um, tier warped, the best uh, tier of attribute is A, and for the legendary one, it's S. Uh, it's highly recommended to try to get almost every single attribute on S, especially on lizards, because uh, they are overall type of um, warpets. And uh, in general, like in whenever you are speaking about lizards, lizards have four main attributes. In this case, I will repeat: intelligence, spirit, agility, and luck are main attributes. Uh, try to get legendary one because you will have a lot of benefits. Uh, these attributes means a lot. Uh, they are giving the warped skills uh, as much power as possible. It's simply determined by your attribute. So that's your main uh, goal. Uh, don't try to build your uh, warped if it's not legendary one. Uh, the main skill of the Ice Lizard is Ice Core. Whenever a hero is about to cast a rage skill, your warped summons Ice Orb that follows the target legion. Ice Orb deals continuous damage to up to one nearby enemy legion for three seconds. Uh, damage type magic. Well, it's pretty uh, easy to understand that Ice Lizard is a magic uh, uh, type of warped. It's used in a magic hero, hero pairs and simply because uh, mages are one of the most popular legion type in the game, uh, Ice Lizard is popular by itself because you can use it in a many different hero pairs. Um, as always, I will say that after those updates, now we can get one two-star uh, main skill warpets. And my main advice would be don't try to uh, build your warped if its main skill is not at least one star. Uh, for example, as you can see on Venomous Lizard I have one star, uh, on Night Rock one star, on um, uh, Snow Peak Rock one star. This star means a lot, right? Like you are getting almost double the amount of stats and the skill is much much better. So I know it's random, you need to get lucky in order to get the one star on your main skill. But like in general, this game is more of a grind, so every day you are logging in, trying to catch pets um, how much you can every single day, and one day you will get lucky and you will get uh, maybe even a 2 star uh, main skill, not even 1. But at least try to get 1 star and after that uh, build, build your um, warp it. Right now it's time for us to build the Ice Lizard. Um, as I said, the Ice Lizard is a magic unit type Warped and its uh, building is pretty simple. As always, we are going to finish the main skill talent synergy. Uh, Ice Core is a main skill and is determined by intelligence. Uh, and we're gonna continue uh, the with the forceful Ice Core. Ice Orb's damage uh, percentage determined by intelligence. Already two skills on intelligence three. Now we can only get one more intelligence skill. Uh, we're gonna finish the ice core synergy, of course. Uh, split ice core. Uh, ice orbs hit more enemy legions with every three uh, two zero points of spirit. Its orb hits an extra enemy legion. 
which means as much spirit as you have, more powerful your main skill will be. And extra enemy legion damage is amazing to have in general. Like Walder is great because uh, you are dealing uh, damage to more enemies with its awakened skill. So this split ice core is really really important. But it will be useless if your uh, spirit is not on S tier. So that's why again I will suggest to try to catch the legendary warpit. After that we already finished uh, the synergy tree of the main skill. Now as uh, almost every single mage um, warpit uh, it's pretty simple how you can build the ice lizard. Uh, you are going with the follow up synergy. Uh, follow up is a, one of the best skills and best synergies for a mage type of warpits. A 40% chance to cast a warpit magic uh, rage skill again two seconds after first casting which means like you are casting more your skill and uh, the damage you are dealing from your warpet is skill damage right so perfect uh, synergy also is determined by um, intelligence which means we finish the intelligence skills on this warpet of course i'm gonna continue and uh, follow up with the ruthless follow up uh, crit rate in percentages and the most important is that Rosless follow up is determined by luck uh, which we have not used yet so great addition uh, is determined by luck after that I would finish the follow up synergy until the end uh, super follow up uh, trigger chance that's a great thing to have uh, like more chance to trigger the uh, double skill damage determined by luck again great um, attribute for us because we only used one luck skill after that like in my opinion these two synergies are the most important like main skill and follow-up synergies um, after that you can build around with like filler skills and most importantly you need don't need to forget that this this uh, warpet is a magic warpet uh, that's why like magic fortune uh, crit rate in percentages when a warpet skill deals magic damage uh, determined by luck uh, great skill, also we had one more uh, luck uh, skill to use, so that's why uh, Magic Fortune would be a great addition. Uh, also, there are like a couple of options how you can add more damage uh, to the uh, Magic Warped, which is uh, Magic Spirits, for example, uh, magic pools uh, but it's determined by intelligence which is not good for us also magic spirits which i uh, mentioned crit damage in percentages when a warped skill deals magic damage uh, also we can use uh, spirit uh, um, because we have one more spirit uh, attribute to spend and also uh, one of my favorite skills for a magic unit type uh, warpets is a resonance uh, warped skill magic damage dealt uh, determined by spirit and we're gonna finish this spirit attribute with this spell i think this is one of the best uh, skills for a magic uh, warped simply because you are getting good uh, damage in percentages right and percentage damage is always better than pure numbers uh, this is how i would build my ice lizard again i would repeat uh, try to get a one star uh, ice core uh, finish the ice core synergy uh, follow up with the follow up synergy and after that you can easily uh, put the fillers such as uh, resonance such as magic spirits and so on this is how i would build my ice core of course i'm still trying to get the one star on the main skill that's why this uh, warped is not built uh, it would be pretty useless if i would use my currency and my skills on a warped which doesn't have a star on the main skill now what's the most important we are going to speak about hero pairs which is pretty straightforward in my opinion uh, almost every uh, magic hero pair uh, who is not flying would be suitable for ice lizard because ice lizard is a land uh, warped and it would be useless if you will use uh, like land warped on a flying units that's why for example myself i would happily use uh, ice lizard on my Walder and Welin. Uh, like even the skills theme and skill synergy is pretty similar like uh, for Walder and Welling you are getting a lot of uh, march speed reduction freeze gloom and uh, Walder is dealing additional uh, legion uh, nearby legion damage same as ice core but honestly like you can use ice core with almost every single magic unit like Walder, Welling, um, Alwyn, even Lilia um, she is a fire uh, damage dealer like her main attribute is fire it's pretty ob obvious to see but who cares uh, this game does not interfere in uh, like fire and water so like every single 
uh, magic uh, hero which is land and which you can move by land will be great addition to the uh, ice lizard synergy but honestly if you want to go to the perfect synergy i would go with walder and Wellin. Uh, if you are pay to win player and you have lilia awakened then of course lilia and Wellin is one of the best hero pairs and of course you would happily use ice lizard on uh, Velin and Lilia. Generally, like lizards are pretty straightforward. There is like couple of exceptions, um, like some venomous lizard, which you can use on mages and uh, infantry, uh, and sand lizard, which is used in many different hero pairs. Other than that, like ice lizard, thunder lizard, and such as are pretty straightforward if you are mage uh, magic unit type uh, warped you are going to be used on a magic hero pairs um, i'm not gonna speak much about um, hero pairs for ice lizard because that's pretty straightforward and it should be easily understandable uh, and that's that's all i wanted to speak about this uh, cute lizard uh, which is uh, used only for mages uh, we are almost finishing talking about uh, warpets one by one, uh, like I think uh, Thunder Lizard is left, uh, which is like one of the most weakest uh, warpets in the game. Yeah, so I hope you are liking the videos, so soon my server will go to the new season and then there will be a lot of live streams, a lot of contents. That's why if you in general like Call of Dragons and videos I'm trying to make, I would be more than happy uh, if you will click on like, comment uh, or even subscribe because that always brings me smile on my face and gives me more motivation. Uh, so far, that's all we can speak about Ice Lizard. I hope we're gonna get much more systems regarding Warpets because it's pretty fun. Um, and I hope you are enjoying the videos. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you are having great day, morning or night, depending on your time zone. I'm gonna see you pretty, pretty soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.